Hi, I'm Rob Walton. I've been a cartoonist in the comic book and animation industry for nearly 30 years. When laying out a comic book page, you have an infinite number of choices to make in terms of the panels that you use, but there's really only one rule to follow, and that's focus and clarity. You want to direct the reader's eye immediately to the subject on the page. Let's take a look at the first three pages of Ragmob as an example. On page one, we open with a splash page of the universe. A star is being absorbed into a black hole. In between the two masses, almost imperceptible, is a small flying saucer. The reason why the flying saucer is so small is because I want to emphasize the stage on which the action is going to take place, and not necessarily the characters. In the second page, we cut from the vastness of space tight on the shot of face of villainous rage. And it's the villain and not the hero we cut to. In a single beat, I want to establish who the villain is, is not only just the villain, but the fact that the stakes are as high in this story for evil as they are for good. On page three, another splash page establishes the hero and the villain. And notice that the hero is on the floor at the villain's feet. Right at the top, it's advantage evil. The terse dialogue explains the situation. So there you have it. In three pages, or essentially three panels, what I've done is I've given you the setting, the characters, who the hero is, who the villain is, what the stakes are, who wins, who loses, who laughs, who cries, and how it all plays out will be told in the next 397 pages. But wait a minute, laying out a page is one thing. What about laying out 400 pages of story? Well, we'll talk about that next.